G'day YouTubers. Uh, this will be a short little video today to um, finalise the CNC conversion kit that I've been making for the TM25, uh, the Titan machine sold in Australia. I believe it is sold in the USA, but it's uh, by a different company. I think it's called Precision Matthews, and it's called a PM25. Um, I'm in the CNC workshop at the moment, and I'll flick this camera around and I'll show you what I've been making. Conversion parts laid out on the table. I've made a total of five kits. Um, it's probably, I probably won't be pursuing this uh, as a long-term venture. It uh, took a lot of my time, uh, most of my school holidays, as a matter of fact, uh, here. Um, I've got the Z-axis parts over the side there, all ready to go. Got the Z-axis lift nuts. I've got some spindle spanners, the spindle spanners that I'll throw in with, the, with each kit. I've got the Y-axis conversion parts here. You've seen me make one of these previously. You've seen the Z one as well. Parts have come up beautifully, all beautifully finished on the Haas. I've got the, um, the X axis here as well. And they're looking schmicko. Double bearing as well. Got the saddle nuts that I've made. They're ready to rock and roll and the idler plate up the other side of the Team 25 as well, which you, uh, you'll see me press the bearings in a little bit later on this. Yeah, it's all set up, ready to go, guys. Well, look, I'm gonna carry on with a few other parts. I've still got to uh, just finalize these parts here. So these are the, the Y-nuts, and uh, they're quite complex. There's about three or four operations in the mill vice that produce one of these suckers. So the other ones here now I've got to do is uh, bore around the outside here and drill and tap a hole to make it look like that and then I'm, I'm done. Alrighty, I'll come back to you in a sec. I'm at the Haas controller and I'm going to set up the G54 for this rectangular block shown here. Right, away we go. Setting up the Z height now. You've got to love the Haas and the Renishaw probing system. How easy is that? Now, before I cut sick and uh, start spinning bits and uh, ripping chips, I just thought I'd show you my work holding method here today to hold these uh, Y saddle nuts. I'm using uh, some soft jaws, aluminum soft jaws that I've just uh, made out of some stock I had here. And you can see how I've made up a little jiggy to hold them to the... I think this vice is a Geraldini. Gerardi, sorry. Gerardi uh, vice made in Italy. It's quite a good vice. It was bought here from Dymac Tooling um, through our Haas factory outlet at um, Alphex CNC. The way I've set it up, you can see I've sculpted out internally here and uh, boned into the corners to allow the, the sharp edge to go in there. Now each nut I put in will be exactly the same. I'm on the lathe at school and uh, I've got to make a drift up to so I can press in this bearing into the x-axis uh, plate. So just on the lathe now, I just need to uh, take a few cuts on this little object here. The DRO up here, take off a nice cut. Now 
Now the OD on the bearing is 26 millimeters. And I'm just a little bit undersized here, but that's fine, I can live with that. And the ID is 10 mil. And you can see I've still got half a mil to go. Well, there we have it. We have the completed uh, bearing drift which I used in the hydraulic press to press these little bearings in into the idler plate on the x-axis on the CNC conversion. Alright, let's start pushing it in with the hydraulic press. Okay, I'm set up in the hydraulic press and I'm uh, the sun's really bright because I'm near the window so I'll try and block it with my shadow. Um, I put, always put a little bit of oil in my housing before I press the bearings in because uh, I don't want them to grip and to rip, rip at the aluminium or tear at the aluminium. So I've made this little Drift up, here we go. I'm going to try and film this with one hand and uh, operate it as well at the same time. So hopefully it will work out. And in we go. Back him off. There we have it, spins nice and freely.